What are you waiting for? Do it! Hi guys, welcome back to this 20 Hearted Gaming Game. You know, Dutter, King of Fighters All-Star content. So this is mo most likely my last video for the day. I've covered a lot of like the coupon codes, the Akuma trailer, all of the events in detail on my earlier video. And lastly, this would be my take on explanation on what are the characters that we're having in volume 1 again volume 2 we're gonna be having five days after this so again akuma is gonna be an ex character m bison is gonna be an ss character and chun li is gonna be an ex character as well i think you're gonna be getting the bang for your buck on the volume 2 but we're still gonna be talking about the volume 1 which there is ryu look and nostalgic chun li so let's view the rate Let's go to Chun Li. She's a fest character, guys. She's just a regular fest, so you can use your invitation, uh, uh, dimensional invitation to awaken her. So I feel like, unfortunately, she's the only fest character that we have, because Luke and M Bison are SS, and Chun Li and Ryu and Akuma are three of them are EX characters. I'm not quite sure, because that EX means that you can't use your BS or SS. Uh, memories to fuse and awaken them uh, we'll see because I haven't tried to summon them yet maybe at the end of the video I'll be using my 1500 we'll see how RNG like helps me out maybe I'll do two summon banners just to make sure that just to see if we can use the BS or SS we'll see we'll see we'll see so the core effect offer is like yeah HP defense skill skill enhance strike skill she has a 20% power gain which is really cool for a fast character Nostalgia, decreased active skill cooldown for 0.2 seconds upon attacking a poison target just the same as Ignis uh, attacking like a shock target so she cools down her active skills really really quickly if the character is poison so for sure she has a po poison effect okay pvp exclusive applies the target's buff from active skills to the caster for 5 seconds upon landing an active skill so looking like um, the, the first version of Honoka so in DOA 6 so investigator in charge of Shadalu so because like she's a police officer and she really wants to um, destroy M. Bison and M. Bison's organization is called Shadalu just to give you a trivia on that okay decreased damage received by 60% when attacked by a target that has 100% HP almost like the Kasumi of the past the SS Kasumi but like Kasumi is much stronger compared to her core effect PvP exclusive this is cool. She's just a mix of everything. She's a mix of um, Mary Rose. The first Mary Rose because like PvP exclusive 50% chance to disable the attacker special moves for 10 seconds when attack and the cooldown is 15 seconds. And again, the core for Street Fighter 5. I'm not quite sure if this is strong enough. Attacks, uh, increase attack by 40% if HP is 50% or more and then your damage get decreased. Uh, your damage received is decreased by 8% each time H was it? Decreased damage received by 8% each time HP decreases by 10%. Oh wow. So you stocks up to 5. So that would be <laughs> 8 times 5. What's that? 8, 16, 24, 32, 40%. Okay. That's a bit like a huge chunk of damage. For every 10% you lost on your life, you're gonna get an 8% decrease damage received okay so stacking up to five so that's gonna be 40 percent so which is cool let's see her skill sets again don't like is she an ex character like can we like no no we can we can we can use them uh you can we can uh, awaken ex them right we can awaken ex them let's go to ryu so awaken ex them yeah and then even look even though he's an ss fighter we can ex awaken them okay 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 but this one i think she's just a fast character fast character so just a fast character again kikoken inflicts damage uh, all team members gain four percent power upon use so deals chill damage equals to 49 percent attack every one second for 10 seconds upon landing a skill so she has chill on the first skill which is really cool and she's also just like maxima the epic quest maxima that gains four percent power charge when he uses this skill then second skill can be used while being attacked standing and knocked down gains hyper armor increase attack as well so that's her hyper armor um, interrupt 
ground and airborne and the third skill is poison damage so she has two two dot effect which is poison and chill chill is can be used in again inferno geese so she can be useful on that but we'll see she's a defense character i'm not quite sure if she's gonna be very uh if she can hit a lot of damage for geese we'll see so again ikosho the super and the multiple lightning kick i can't really pronounce that that's our 3 pg and let's see the skill preview so comment on the comment section if you're liking the videos that i post so give me a subscribe as well like and hit that uh, bell icon for further notifications so this is the kikoken she looks really badass here like look at those camel no i'm just joking <laughs> Ah, that's why I made like if you haven't watched the trailer of Chun-Li you better watch the trailer I made it like it took me a bit of a while of editing to make that video so like as you can see here I think compared to the OG Chun-Li this is the best like she's the most tight fitting character she wears tight so tight that you can see almost like yeah it leaves to the imagination <laughs> OMG, those, oh, those ties. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, okay, 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 okay. We're, we're professionals here. We're professionals. Okay, let's review. Kikoken again. So, <laughs> that's the chill damage. Increase uh, PG gain. And again, the lightning kick. The hyper armor. And then the third skill would be. Oh my god, you can see those. Oh, the camel. Where's the camel? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the poison damage, okay? So, Kikosho. Boom! Close up. And his her third 3PG, the lightning kick, you will see, you will see. Close up, you will see the close up. And I'm not gonna tell anymore. So, it just leaves to the imagination. Look at that. Ooh! Did you see that? <laughs> ah, <laughs> That's why I need to make another video of this. Because, like, I can concentrate on making this one worth your while instead of me just being really quick and explaining the super okay look at this look at oh my god look, oh did you see that oh did you see that again i don't want to do any slow motion about that but like i can see i can see and most likely you are seeing that one as well so looking really badass for fs character she's really looking cool having two kinds of dot ability poison and chill and she doesn't have a like ex explosion but still she looks really badass. And again, the leadership, she's a green defense. Increases all fighters attack by 20% and active skill damage by 30%. Okay, that's your nostalgic Chun-Li. Okay, then we go to my not-so-favorite character. I don't want to talk about this guy, but like we still need to do to do to be like we're professionals here in content creation. So <laughs> we'll talk about the core effect of Luke. So he's an SS, so most likely he has 30% power charge rate that's gonna be given. Except Athena, please Lord, Lord, or please dev team, make SS Athena having a power charge rate. Make her OP again, okay? That's just me. She's the only one that doesn't have a, like a power charge rate for an SS character. So, attack, okay. Former Special Forces operative because like he's working with like uh, Colonel Guile. So deals starlight damage and he has a starlight damage explosion, okay? 30% chance to stun the attacker for 1.5 seconds when attacked. So she has like uh, the Mary Rose effect, the SS Mary Rose effect. And then 40% chance to reset active skill cooldowns upon landing sand blaster. So he can reset the active skill cooldown so he has 40% chance to reset his active skill cooldown upon landing a sand blaster that's gonna be her his first skill and then pvp exclusive when attack disables the attacker's active skill for three seconds oh my gosh so he's somewhat of a mary rose character he also has a stun by the way he's just like the new buffed up mary rose so ss mary rose is now ss look so again the street fighter 5 increases attack by 40% if the HP is 50% or more, and then your damage get decreased by 8% every time you lose 10% of your life, stacks up to 5, that's gonna be 40%. So that's gonna be Luke, and as you know, he has Starlight Explosion, you can change it, change him up again, you can make him as an EX character as well. So, the first skill would be his Starlight, apply Radiant Damage, 
uh, one second decreases the cooldown of ultimate moves wait 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 up wait up i need decreases cooldown of ultimate move by five seconds upon landing a skill guard included wait up don't tell me every time he uses this one his ultimate move is decreased by five seconds oh man don't oh my gosh like if he cast it twice it's gonna be 10 seconds now less than 10 seconds because it's written here right decreases cooldown of ultimate move by five seconds upon landing a skill guard included so he can cast his super that quick they're making him too op man so he has radiant damage which is good for um uh, i think uh inferno no not not inferno um it's good for lunatic stages lunatic g's because he's starlight so starlight oh my god he has starlight and then the next skill and then he has decreased damage like oh my god this one is like decreased cooldown of ultimate move by five seconds upon landing a skill guard included every time he cast this Ugh. damn the sand blaster and also it will reset his skills again he has 40 percent chance to reset the, reset the skills oh my gosh and then the second skill would be uh limited to standing and airborne stuns the enemy for 1.5 seconds upon use apply radiant to target 12 seconds upon landing a skill guard included okay so this one doesn't have a super armor so the only thing with him is he only has one hyper armor ability which is the third skill so use uh gains hyper armor super armor damage immunity so can be used when being attacked limited to start standing and airborne so he has two interrupt skills but the second skill doesn't have any super armor so okay and then again, his first finisher gains 15% power increase attack by 15 seconds. 15% for 10 seconds. So after you use this one, you're gonna be having another 15%. Oh my god, like he gains bar very fast. And then his super will be up if he casts that one twice, the sand blaster twice. OMG. So let's see again the skill preview. Look, look he's looking kinda OP. Not gonna lie. So first skill is the Sand Blaster. So Sand Blaster is the Radiant Damage plus decrease 5 seconds of your ultimate skill if you hit it even though you're guarding. So second skill would be... Second skill would be his stun. So second skill would be his stun. Again, he doesn't have Super Armor in this one. So the third skill would be his Hyper Armor Rush Down. And then the second skill, by the way, also inflicts Radiant Damage. And he also has Starlight Explosion, by the way, guys. Okay, Thermo Barrick Trash EX. This is gonna be 15% power charge rate after the use of this super. And then also increases his attack by 15%. And then Annihilator. So, boom. This looks, looks, looks really cool as well. His super looks really cool. But I don't really dig the character itself. We'll see. So, that's look. And we have Ryu. And we're gonna be talking about the cards after this, okay? So I should have like talked about the cards instead of the characters first, but like we'll talk about Ryu. I want him to be last because like he's one of the best characters out there. So again, power gain 30%. So critical rate, critical damage, Furin Kazan, Reflex Stun and Starlight. Okay, he's just like Terry Bogart now. He reflects Starlight like uh and he reflects stun so he doesn't get stunned he reflects the stun to you just like uh who does like chizuru okay just chizuru but pvp exclusive cast a critical shield oh so he has critical shields as well okay and then indomitable fighting spirit increase attack by 12 percent and penetration by 1000 for five seconds each attack stacks up to five so it's gonna be what like 60% attack his damage is gonna be oh my god he's gonna be good good in inferno because like he has shock guys he has shock and it's good for inferno geese geese sorry inferno geese so he has loads of attack loads of attack that's what i can say and he inflicts he uh, reflects stun so he doesn't get stunned but he can be feared okay so he's increasing Street Fighter 5 attack by 65%. That's his leadership. And he's a yellow type fighter. Luke, on the other hand, is a yellow balance type. Increases balance type fighter by attack by 40 and critical damage by 50. So that's their ability. I think uh, 
this one is a good leadership skill for all of your Street Fighter 5 if you want to put in a lot of damage. So, he's an EX character. So, Hadouken, again, drops lightning on the target. So, if you drop lightning, guys, it will increase the active skill cooldown of the enemy. So, they might not cast their active skills almost like Ignis. Okay? So, the second skill is deals shock damage. So, he has shock explosion here. And they move shock when attacking. So, that's his second skill. And then, the third one. He has hyper armor. So unfortunately for Ryu, because some of the BS and SS characters, they have one hyper armor skill and second uh, um, super armor skill. But the good thing about this Ryu is when he casts his hyper armor, so might as well like if you're waiting for a character, you wait for the character to come at you with their hyper skill, hyper armor skill, and then you interrupt them using this one. Because like this one is limited to standing and airborne. So he can interrupt using while he's in the air and while he's on the ground and when he interrupts you there's a 70 percent chance to re remove the target's hyper armor so it's really good really uh, or shield or shield oh my god <laughs> he can remove shield so hyper armor or shield and then he will hit you like a truck because of that like core effect which has like 60 percent attack and penetration stacks up to five just imagine him and he's a yellow attack type fighter so might he might be the best yellow type attack fighter because like Kyo, Kyo is one of the best uh, damage dealer for a yellow type fighter but might be Ryu would be the one standing in the throne. We'll see. Okay? So we'll see. He looks really badass here. Let's see the skill preview. Let's see the skill preview. Come on. So Hadouken. Just your regular Hadouken. So that's the shock damage. Shock damage. And then inflicts lightning as well. So this one is the removal of like the shock explosion. And then the third skill would be your hyper armor and removes hyper armor for the enemy and or remove a shield. So Shin Hadouken. Hadouken! And then again, Dejin Hadouken EX with the combo. Boom. It's almost like Shin Shoryuken. Boom, boom, boom. Boom boom Tetsumaki Senpyu Kyaku And then Shin Hadouken So that's gonna be Your Ryu He's kinda dope He's looking like Terry Bogart In a sense But with remove hyper armor OMG um, He doesn't have stun Compared to To Terry But like Terry on the other hand I think Terry is Much better Because he inflicts stun And he reflects stun Compared to Ryu Which only he Reflects stun But he doesn't inflict stun he inflicts shock or lightning damage. So that's what he does. So lots of things to note about his skill. So that's it for you. And they looking hella dope. And I can't wait for them to... I'm gonna be summoning maybe after this video. So we're gonna be talking about the cards here. All of the cards are here for the Volume 1 characters. So Dejin Hadouken, Annihilator, M Flash Kick, the Path Towards Legend... This is the option card for if we pull for them here. Other option cards are in the event uh, summons, okay? So attack, critical damage, and increase Street Fighter 5 critical rate. This is a good card for sure. It's going to increase a lot of CP for your Street Fighter characters. Just like the Guilty Gear and the DOA card, option card, okay? And then the final stop of Ambition. Increase Street Fighter 5 darkness damage. Darkness and starlight damage by 25%. Mm, not quite sure this might be only applicable for the starlight which is like Luke and M. Bison which is darkness uh, I rather not have this I rather have the other one okay and then this is I think the first time that we're gonna be seeing this one it becomes immune to damage for three seconds while Street Fighter 5 HP is 10% or less so it's almost like the the Akane set but this one, when your life is 10% or less. So you still have life. So technically with the 10%, compared to the Akane set, because the Akane set, if you're fighting an enemy with Aliyah, so they will reflect the damage and most likely your character will be dead. Okay, because like reflect damage is not, um, it's the weakness of the Akane set. But this one, you will be immune to damage for 3 seconds. It's 3 seconds guys, 3 seconds if your HP is 10% or less. So, you still have a life. So, like, if the Liya set reflects 
the damage to you, you still have that like maybe 10% of life to not die as quickly as the Akane set. So this mo might be a good counter for Aliyah. We'll see, we'll see. And then again, the active skill damage is 25%, increase attack by 20% for 5 seconds. The good thing is, it doesn't have a cooldown, which is much like for 5 seconds, right? Lands an active skill. And then after that, if he lands another active skill, there's gonna be another increase of 20%. It's not stackable, guys. It's not stackable. Whenever you land an active skill, and you might increase attack by 20% for 5 seconds when he lands an active skill. So it's really cool. Really a strong card to have if you are using your Street Fighter character. I think this is a must-have if you have a Street Fighter character. Most likely, if you want to put in Ryu, it's all up to you. So those are really good cards to have for your Street Fighter characters. So, let's try to summon now and let's hope for the best. I'm go just gonna use two summons, okay? So I hope RNG would be good to me. Let's do this one. Look, let's use the the rubies. I hope we get something here. Come on, come on. Red! Red! Oh, RNG! Wait, wait, why did I... Oh, I didn't get anything. <laughs> okay, 600. I'm gonna use 300 of my uh, free, uh, of my own ruby. We'll see. Hopefully, I'll get something. Just one, man. Just one. Give me one. Ooh, it's loading. <laughs> Maybe it's because the problem is I remove all of my cache files. You know, that's why it takes a while to download. Hopefully, when this is downloading, I can get a 5-star maybe. Come on, 5-star. Give it to me. Why is it taking so long? Come on. So that we can end the video after this. Okay. Oh, thank God. Come on. Red. Yes. Come on. <gasps> no. Sad. Oh my God. Sad. No. Not summoning anymore. So that's it for the video there. I hope you guys like the breakdown of the characters. They're looking kind of OP as well. Um, like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for further notification. Again, this is 2300 Gaming. And finally, we've already covered all of the things that we need to talk about regarding the Street Fighter 5x king of fighters all-star collaboration so i hope you guys like this video like and subscribe again and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out